Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And if you're a Windows developer, installing Windows updates probably isn't one of your favorite thing. Hell, some of you are probably still trying to stay on Windows XP at this point in time. But if you are using Windows 11, there is an update that you probably want to consider installing. And it is 202302 cumulative update for Windows 11 version 22H2. It's that 22H2 is the key part. Uh, go check Windows update. Even if it says that you are up to date, it is an optional update at this point. Click download and install. Now, why exactly are you wanting to install this window update? Well, again, if you are a developer on Windows, there is probably something that you have wanted. I have wanted this for 20 plus years. You are probably in the same boat, and let me show you what that is. I got a run tab right here, and I'm going to load the program N-O-T-E-P-A-D.E-X-E. -E. The Probably the first code editor for many of you, uh, definitely was for myself. And one thing you may notice has changed with Notepad. Look at this tabs we now have tabs this is a huge <laughs> development i've wanted this for eons and eons and i know there are a ton of excellent programs out there heck there's a notepad plus plus which was literally designed to be notepad plus better but this is installed on every version of windows it just works it is simple i use it constantly it's probably featured you know a hundred times in previous uh, game from scratch videos just from doing little quick edits on the topic of that these tabs are consistent so you actually can come in here to the settings by the way if you haven't noticed there's also um theming support so you can do uh, dark mode like what we got here uh, you do have control over the font that is chosen but also now once you have the tab version here you have this option here as well so you could say with a new file should I open it in a new tab or create a new window so for example if I sorry I run a command prompt like so and I do notepad my file dot txt with that setting it will automatically create it in a new tab. This has literally been something I've dreamed of for decades now. It's a very small thing, but I know for the handful of you that have been waiting for it, you're going to absolutely love this news. So if you want to go ahead and grab it, the key is that you want to have this version installed, Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, some of it's also going to come down to how you have your Windows configured. You may not automatically get it. To get it, you may also have to go to Windows Store. After running that update, go into the Windows Store, which you may have never loaded before in your life. And what you want to do is go to the apps section. And then when I did this, uh, search for Notepad. It's the first one right here. There's one for Windows 10, and then there's Windows Notepad. This is the Windows 11 version. So locate the Windows Notepad app over here. And then what you may have is oddly grayed out an update button. Uh, I had to do that. I've already done it, obviously, because I just demoed it. Uh, but if yours isn't automatically updated with that patch update, go into the Windows Store, click Update, uh, that, will, again, will probably be grayed out, and then you can now use... Uh Windows Notepad with tabs. And again, uh, this has been just one of those things uh, I have wanted for eons and eons and eons. You get your typical tab behavior. Uh, so you click on a tab and close the other tabs down save don't save whatever so again this is a feature i have been longing for for many years and it is finally here ladies and gentlemen windows notepad now has tabs uh, let me know what you think and if you're not a windows user obviously this is going to be like what and if you are a windows user and you want to have a better editing experience trust me there are so many tools that are better than notepad i get notepad plus sublime text even visual studio code uh, there are a ton of text editors out there and of course you got cross-platform stuff like uh vi or vim uh emacs etc but this this is installed in every single machine ever. It's sort of the Windows equivalent of VI. It's a very simple version, but it is installed on every single OS. Uh, and just quick and dirty text edit or text viewing or whatever, this tends to be the program that is used. So adding tabs to it is actually a bigger deal than it probably looks like. All right, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.